Welcome back, everybody. IGN Live at E3. I'm Damon. This is Joe. We're here with Adam from Konami, and we're going to talk over a live gameplay demo of Pez 2018. Adam, thank you so much for coming by the IGN stage. Uh, now, is it true? I've heard you've got Usain Bolt. How crazy is in that? The game this year. It's, so weird. it's absolutely crazy. He's not a soccer player. No, but a huge fan, and, fan. and actually a player uh, to be, because oh. he's actually going to. Uh, hang up his running shoes and hopefully change it for some soccer yeah. cleats. He did trials at Manchester United a few years Absolutely. ago, didn't he? Absolutely. Uh, he's played with a number of teams, mm. but he's actually trialling right now with the second division French team. Is and he really? he's looking to get into football. And that's how he started, watching a football match. Um, um, seeing his people there, having a conversation. Hey, what do you do? I'm this. What do you do? I'm that. Oh, we should put him in the game. Yeah, we should. Two weeks no, later. No, for real. No, for real. No, no, seriously. <laughs> and it, I think it was a fantastic thing what actually happened because it was this guy who loves football, really into it, and just having him want to be in the game, perfectly replicated. We released a trailer mm -hmm. because we flew out to Jamaica. We did a 3D capture. He looks fantastic. He's got a celebration. It's absolutely amazing for us. And it's got so many people talking about Pez. Yeah, for sure. Which we are seeing uh, played live right Wonderful. here. Wonderful. So you're watching a night game right now. So this is Atletico Madrid from Spain against Liverpool. Um, both um, Liverpool is a, a partnership team um, for Pez. So we have like an exclusive partnership with them as well. Um, what you're seeing right now is a game which is looking completely different to last year. Mm. And it's, uh, it's something that we've worked on for a number of years now, three years. When it comes to the visuals, we're using Fox Engine still, but we're still adapting it to a football game. Oof, great save there. <laughs> and what you're seeing here is brand new nighttime lighting because what we did is, with our partnership teams, we took our uh, scanning department with their gear and flew them to Barcelona, flew them to Germany, and flew them to the UK. Mm. And they captured the stadium lighting, the pitch, the tunnels, wow. everything. And they even stayed until the evening so they can capture the night as well. Nice. So it's it's fantastic uh, recreation of the game and it, and it gives it a brand new look. So are you telling Everton fans that Ooh. some of the look of games they play no. will have? <laughs> no, will everyone's going to benefit. Liverpool. This is a game for everybody. <laughs> I'm not, no, no, but uh, truthfully, actually, that's a really good question because <laughs> what, we, what we've done is using that capture data, we're, we're able to then use some of that to make, for example, all the grass look like grass yeah. and look look very authentic in, in uh, different times of the day. So actually has benefited the game. Same goes for the new face captures. We're quite big on our authentic player faces in pairs. We really focus on making people look like they're supposed to. And even those sort of uh, capturing of the face and the textures benefit other players that we can use the same sort of you yeah. know skin color and, and, and tone as well. Obviously, changes in football games Sorry, soccer games yeah. uh, are always. Uh, <laughs> you've got to, got to get I'm into not, the crowd. I'm not offended. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're quite hard to describe until you. Yeah. Like often, it takes hundreds of matches to really understand how a game yeah. feels different. What's your What's your sort of big picture idea for Pez this year? Oh, to be fair, it's the fact that you don't even need me here this year <laughs> because Pez really does sell itself, mm. and this is the easiest show that I've had because I can talk about the visuals, the animations being different, being improved. But for us, it's night and day. If you see last year and this year, in terms of how it looks, how the players move, every year we used to have a few hundred new animations. Mm. This year, we've completely changed the base one, so how they walk, how they, how they dribble, how they turn. So it's like, we're not talking about hundreds, we're, talk we're talking about tens of thousands. Wow. So for us, it's so easy for us to get people to come in. Where the challenge lies, though, I think, is getting people to accept that Pez is the best football game you know <laughs> and I think listen it's a clear challenge we've got a huge competitor and so what we're doing this year is something a little bit different mm -hmm. we're really trying to focus on improving our online okay yeah, yeah. And by doing that we're actually launching an online beta at the end of July interesting open for 11 days but the key component of this beta is that it's 3v3 oh wow okay so it's a new mode a new co-op mode that we're actually bringing into Pez It's part of our new esports um, um, a, a campaign with our features and our modes as well. So for us, 3v3 is really important because it allows us to not just convince you as we see a great goal, celebration, <laughs> things like that, but it allows you to bring your friends into pairs and convince them as well. Because we, we do understand it's more than just one person that we need to convince. It's yeah. you and your friends as well. 
as you see a great shot. Yeah. Brand new net physics. So stoic. Goalkeeper's upset because he's <laughs> like the goal in. But you see the lighting here. It looks fantastic from the floodlights. I was going to say, like, the touch. Looking, looking closer, you know, those instant replay moments, yeah. those are often the moments where a game really sells itself with people. Absolutely. Like, have you worked on the sort of, like, that really close up tech Presentation as well element. As the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, what, what you might have seen during this actual stream is you have a shot, you have a pass, a misplaced pass. You'll start seeing stats come on the screen and it's following the broadcast element. When you saw the replay of the goal, each key play slowed down to just show you a different angle. Fantastic save there again by the, by the goalkeeper, which we've really improved as well. But the, but the presentation has always been something that the fans have really wanted us to focus on to make it more authentic, more yeah. like a like you know, watching an actual football match, and there's something that we worked on a lot. It does feel like you started last year really pushing the, particularly with your partnerships, really pushing yeah. that the sort of the licensed side of the game, getting that that more sort of televisual element almost. Like Absolutely. having a, for me, I, I'm not a Liverpool fan, but having <laughs> you'll never walk alone in a, in a in a football game. That's yeah. like an incredible. It's a weirdly incredible thing because it seems like such an ephemeral element, but that's that's a huge part of, of British culture. Yeah, and absolutely. You don't often see that kind of real life aesthetic put yeah. into a football game. And I think we we've got that freedom to do it because we don't have every single license and every single team to appease. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to be front and center. And by focusing on some of the partnerships, I'm actually making good on 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 some of those partnerships in in the terms of it's not just a license that we put on the back of the box, you know. Yeah. We do a lot more than that. We actually go and visit the, the, the players. They get hands on. They give us feedback. We go to the stadiums. We capture the sound, all the anthems and things. It's an, it's an unbelievable benefit to have these kind of partnerships. But it's not just a case of having your logo somewhere on mm. when you're watching the stadium. It's a lot more than that. And, it, and it's helped us benefit the game for sure. Have you got any more key partnerships that you're planning to announce? Loads. Yeah? Absolutely. Are you, are you got, able to talk about any of them? Unfortunately yet, not, no. <laughs> Which is <laughs> rather obvious. Yeah. For a scoop. Yeah, um, but it's really exciting because I think one thing that we did last year with the partnerships is it is it really um, showed everybody the intent. Because mm. right now, you know, if people do get so upset with all the licenses stuff, they they want to see effort. They want to see a trier. They want to mm. see people going out there. And because we went and signed these three big teams, Barca, Liverpool, Dortmund, we've got just as many to announce for next year all over the world and really, really close partnerships, really big teams and benefiting the game in various ways. But alongside licenses as well, something that's really important, I know Bolt is kind of a key icon here, but <laughs> we also showed Diego Maradona, who was in the game last year, yes. so it's not a surprise, but we went and worked with him individually. Mm. And that's, that's something for us to give you a bit of a tease is that we're going to go start in working with these legend players individually. And we've got some really big announcements. And you can hold me to that. If I see you at Gamescom, guys, huge announcements of legend players okay. that will only be in PES and the biggest of the biggest. And is that Bolt, those players, uh, are those exclusively in my club? Or are we going to be able to, particularly with Bolt, are we going to be able to use him, like put him in through edit mode in other, other elements You'll of the You'll be game? able to unlock legends and certain players like Bolt through um, my club, once you get them, but they'll be available in Master League in a transfer window. Gotcha. Okay. So, a little bit technical there, but that, the answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> nice. And to go back to that 3v3 mode just for a second, yeah. um, you talked about... Uh, Huge, yeah. Yeah, you talked about how that's going to work in the online beta. Can we talk about that in a little bit more detail in the sense of who... Um, are we stuck with one player each or are we no, cycling three choose. players? Or, like, how, how's it going to work? Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, moment I mean, to moment. So, I think for us, the main reason why we decided to, to bring in 3v3 is a lot of our fans wanted us to actually bring in some kind of uh, co-op, couch co-op, online mix, uh, 2v2. So it means that I could play online, you could be um, online with uh, uh, two people in, in one console and two people online kind of thing, you know, gotcha. being able to play it. So we wanted to go one step further and actually do 3v3. So we've done 3v3 with the same concept. I could be online, you guys could be on the same console, but we're on the same team. Gotcha. It's absolutely amazing. So. What we did is we integrated that into the whole PES League system. PES League is huge for us. It's mm. our, it's our um, you know, eSports system. It's really important to everything that we're doing. Just three weeks, so, three weeks ago, we gave away $200,000 to the winner. Mm. He was a 17-year-old kid from Brazil, completely changed his life. That's Second amazing. place, got $100,000. You know, we really invested in cards. And that was all down to the fact that we were at the Champions League final, which is an exclusive license to PES. We were there in Cardiff. 
huge events. The 3v3 is kind of the next step up because what we're trying to do is giving the, the user an option to, to, to how they play in a variety mm -hmm. of ways. We have the 2v2, we have the 3v3. My club is really big for us as well, where you get the legend players. We're bringing that into Pez League as well. Mm -hmm. So you can have a variety of it. And the big news about playing online with your friends is that we brought in stat balancing. So I'm not sure who you support, but it might not be Barcelona. But you might want to choose that team that you support mm -hmm. against Barcelona. Well, I mean, Spurs could beat Barcelona oh, on their day, okay. so but, I don't want to okay. hear this. <laughs> but, the, but, the, but the great news is, is even if you lost and complained that they were stronger, yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't have to do that anymore because we've got stat balancing now online. Okay, nice. So that's all about skill. So you can have the shirt, you can play your favorite team, another great goal. You know, you can, you can absolutely have that experience with your favorite team. The best thing about 3v3, I have to say, is I didn't even know about this, but I actually saw it being, being played at our stand today, is if you score a goal, you and your mates, there's quick time events in certain situations on the pitch where you can, if you press a button at the right time, you do one celebration together. <laughs> right. So you can trigger That's celebration. It's really cool. Yeah, and when I you like see that. it, it's, it's so funny. That's a really nice way of rubbing it in. Absolutely, yeah. So again, people can test that at mm. the end of July. I mean, listen, the beta is not really a marketing tool for us, if I'm honest with you. It's mm. more of a, listen, let's, let's get online right this year for Pez. Mm. Let's really focus on testing uh, the infrastructure. We're going big this year with so many online, sorry, so many ways of playing online mm. that we have to get it right. Help us, it's on PS4, it's on Xbox One, um, and it's gonna be open. Is the beta right. running on both platforms? Correct, yeah. yeah. Uh, and are we able to talk about are there PS4 Pro and One X modes this year? Uh, with the Pro, all we've announced is 4K. Okay. Um, Xbox One X looks monstrous, mm -hmm. uh, but nothing to announce right now regarding okay, cool. any support for, for the X. I'm really hopeful that the console will do the work for us, if I'm <laughs> honest. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Thanks, Microsoft. But yeah, no, uh, for now. But again, more, more information to come on that. Nice. Um, and, you know, talking of... Uh, uh, you know, powerful machines. Something that's really important for us this year is actually taking PC to the next level. So, unfortunately, for the past few years, um, the PC version has been more like a hybrid, not quite on the level of PS4, Xbox mm. One, um, somewhere in between. And this year, we're actually t taking it up to, up to the next level. So, it's actually on the parity of PS4 and Xbox One. However, it is the best version. So if you do have like a GeForce or a crazy graphics card, you will be seeing Pez at its best on PC. Are you able to speak to why PC has been so hard to get right and how you got it right this year? Do you know what? It's actually learning by the Fox. Fox oh, Engine really? is, every year we have the same sort of challenges and we learn a little bit more and more. I still get asked a lot of questions about, are you still using Fox? Are you still using, you know? But the, but the main point is, is it wasn't built for a, for a, a football game. You mm. know, it was built for a beautiful 3D open world game and we've been adapting that visual engine for ages, it was found it easier to focus bit by bit on the consoles, um, which is, you know, to be fair, our biggest market. Mm. And slowly but surely, we managed to master it in a way where we could then accommodate the resource to, to put it on PC as well. It's really interesting that, that move across uh, all sports games, actually. Like, we're seeing a lot more sports games use engines designed for other types of games. That, like, and particularly with Fox, it, it must be really interesting working within a company that's, that's using this engine all across. Are you sort of setting standards for other, other development teams? Are you finding out things about Fox that maybe they don't know and, and you're passing information? How does, how does that work? Part of that is actually really true, finding out things about Fox that we didn't know about. Mm. Um, it, it's an engine that is being, is always being worked on, mm. and it's something for us that allows us to benefit. That's a nice, that's a really nice finish, by the way. Very nice, and you get the as you'd expect from Griezmann hotline bling celebration <laughs> as well. Yeah, I mean, I think for us, it's it's always going to be a learning process because it's always being worked on in in a certain way. Mm. I mean, there's not much more I can say about Fox because it is an engine for Konami, not just for Pez. So mm -hmm. we have to, I have to leave it there. But for us, it's learning about how we can keep utilizing it. I don't think we're kind of educating anybody internally of, oh, look, look, what, look what we're doing. I still mm. think we're the ones that, that are learning. But it's really important for us to be building system outside of Fox, like the, the animation engine. For, you know, for, for example, we need to be working on that separately. Where Fox allows us to, to really impress people is the lighting, it's the visual, it's making it look real. Yeah. And we're still unlocking that potential. I mean, you must realize that I desperately want to play Deli Alley in a Metal Gear Solid game. So, <laughs> okay. Like, that's, okay. If you could work you on that. You can make that happen. 
that would, that would be really great. People you I'll try and it. get skin pack for survive. I don't that, know, maybe whatever you say. Yeah, yeah. Just, just for you though, yeah. Oh yeah, okay, please, 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 please. Okay, okay. On the other end of the spectrum, from your high-end PCs, and your uh, Xbox One X versions, would you like to do a version for a Nintendo Switch? I would love to. Who yeah. wouldn't? I mean, I think actually a lot of people are sort of asking that uh, question now. Yeah. Because I think everybody might have had some kind of, you know, predetermined thoughts about how well the console would be mm -hmm. based on what Nintendo have achieved in the past with their, you yeah. know, with their consoles, the support, lack of, etc. But let's face it, Switch has been phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And for me personally, I'm a huge fan. And it's not that we would ever say we're not going to work on it or we are going to work on it, but I think a lot of eyebrows right now are raised and mm. I would love to. That's what I can well, say. I mean, we, we can hear the, the noise from the Nintendo stand <laughs> right now. It's, yeah. it's, it's loud. Yeah. Like, I suppose that must be a part of the sort of wider PC thing. You're creating a scalable game when you're creating for a, for a PC audience. Like, Absolutely. Is, the, it's, you know, is it possible that by working harder on PC that we can then see like in future it could come to Switch because of that? I think, I think that's the aim. Yeah. And, and you know, we just launched a fantastic mobile game on iOS as well. So I think everything that we're doing right now is getting Pez on as many platforms as possible. We certainly want it to be on every single platform out there. Nice. Well, Adam, thank you so much for coming by oh, the show. Thank you. Does Pez 2018 have a release date? September 12th. September 12th. In the US. Can't cool. wait. Awesome. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Thanks, man. Stay tuned. More to come here on IGN Live at E3 after this.